Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh Bawne. So today I have come up with a project which is based upon Cubitro IoT platform. If you have seen my last story on Instagram that I did the collaboration with Cubitro IoT platform. Now this is completely new IoT platform where we are able to build IoT projects like we used to do in Blink IoT platform and UbiDots IoT platform. So I am in constantly in contact with the technical support team of the Cubitro IoT platform. So they are doing lot more improvisation and they are adding lot more features on their Cubitro IoT platform. In today's video, I am going to connect ESP32 board with the Cubitro IoT platform and we are going to monitor temperature and humidity by using the DST11 sensor. So without wasting time, let's get started. So let's see what you are going to learn in this video. First, you are going to learn about how to create new project inside the Cubitro IoT platform. Second, you are going to learn about how to create dashboard and how to monitor the data. Third, you are going to learn about how to interface DST11 temperature sensor with the ESP32 board. So, and the last, which is most important part, that is, you are going to learn about how to code the ESP32 board in order to upload the data to the Cubitro IoT platform. So, this is the IoT platform that is Cubitro.com. Just open this. So, this is the user interface you will get. So, now you need to create your account here. So, for that, you need to click on register now or else you can see on the right hand side you can go to the portal let's click on go to portal so once you successfully logged into your platform so this is the user interface you will see on the left hand side you can see there are various tabs available like monitoring credential documentation and usage and billing so monitoring tab is basically for creating the dashboard now credential so here you will get your api key and all now that is documentation so this is what i like most about this platform that they are providing documentation tab in the portal itself like if you want to connect different hardware to the portal then you can read here inside the documentation so the next tab is usage and billing where you can able to see your billings and your usage of your portal and the last one is account so here you can see your account details and all now let's see how to create a new project so here we are going to do the monitoring of temperature and humidity so here we are going to connect DST11 to the ESP32. So I'll write here the name of the project is DST11 with ESP32. Give the meaningful project description so that you can understand what is the project is about. So I'll write here monitoring humidity and temperature and click on create project so now you have created project named dst11 with esp32 so now the next step is choose connectivity method now here i am using mqtt protocol for connecting my esp32 board to the portal so let's select here mqtt and click on continue now here you need to provide basic details like device name, device description, device brand, device model and device location. So I'll write here device name as ESP32 and once again write here device description like ESP32. So I'll write here ESP32 and device brand is S Espressif and device model is ESP32 Dev, dev kit and device location is India I'll write here India and click on continue so here you can see device successfully added now we have got our MQTT credentials here you can see the port host and everything we have got okay so let's click on continue I'll do this later so here you can see your device that is ESP32 dev kit. So now we have not connected the device. So that's why it says not applicable. So now let's click on this device. Now go to the settings. Now here inside the setting you can see you are getting device ID and device token. Now why I'm showing you because we need to use this inside the coding. So now we will create a dashboard for monitoring the temperature and humidity data so here you can see I have already renamed my dashboard as a monitoring humidity and temperature so here on the drop down you can able to rename your dashboard name 
and also you can able to delete your dashboard so here you can see we have created a project that is dst11 with esp32 and here you can see your device is connected now and if you want to see the data coming from the device just click on device and here you can see the data is coming from the device like sensor 1 and sensor 2 12 34 so these are the values that we are getting from the sensor so now we'll go to the monitoring and we will add the widget so that we can able to see the data on the widget let's click on add widget now you need to add few basic detail in order to add widget like widget title so i'll write here humidity and your project is dst11 with esp32 device is esp32 widget type so there are various widgets available so here i'll select simple gauge let's click on that and click on continue now here you can able to select the sensor values so here inside the sensor one i am storing the humidity data now i will explain you everything that why we are getting the value of humidity in sensor one so i will explain you in the arduino code so let's click on that now select the unit if you want to select the unit based upon the data that you are getting then you need to select here now you can select the maximum range of your values from 0 to whatever the maximum range that you are getting so here you can able to choose the color of widget so i'll select this color and click on create widget so widget is created successfully so you can able to adjust the size of the widget just pull down this arrow on the downside you can see you can easily able to adjust the size of the widget as well now we will add one more widget for the temperature let's click on new widget and just enter the same details like here i'll write temperature and select your project select the device and select the widget type here we are monitoring the temperature so just look for the temperature something like that yes so we have got the temperature gauge let's click on temperature gauge and click on continue now here just select the sensor 2 i am storing the value of temperature inside the sensor 2 variable now unit list let's select here temperature so you can select the minimum and maximum range of your temperature sensor so i'll keep it is as it is as of now and just select the color of the widget and just click on create widget so as you can see the temperature and humidity widgets are showing the data so, so we have done with the portal configuration now we will see the circuit diagram and the most important part that is Arduino coding so this is the circuit diagram this circuit diagram i have created using the easy EDA platform here you can see on the screen we are uh, i have used dst11 with the sp32 board so dst11 sensor has four pins one is vcc data nc and the ground so vcc is connected to the v in pin of the sp32 board data pin that is pin number two from the dst11 is connected to the 13 pin of the sp32 here you can see and we have not used this nc pin and the ground of the dst11 sensor is connected to the ground of the sp32 board so this is the very simple connection now we will see the most important part of this project that is coding so i'll directly jump to the arduino now you will get the basic code in order to connect the esp32 board to the qubitro platform so from where i got this code so just go to your qubitro portal and just click on documentation here you need to click on mqtt protocol just click on mqtt and here you can see platform examples and here you can see the ESP32 board. Let's click on ESP32 and click on generic connectivity. So here you can see the basic example code in order to connect your ESP32 board to the Qubitro portal. So I have used this code. So here I'll explain you each and everything step by step that what are the things that you need in order to connect. So first here you can see the, we have the library that is Qubitro MQTT client library. So I will mention the link of this library inside the description box. You can download this library you need to install this library and also you need to install wifi.h library so i will mention what are the libraries that i am using inside the description box so here i have declared one variable that is pot pin so potentiometer is connected to the analog pin 34 of the sp32 board here just an example in order to send the analog data 
so for device id and device token you need to again go to the qubitro portal and just go to the device or go to the project here you can see this is your device just click on device and go to the settings and here you can see the device id and device token just copy this and paste into the code so just paste it here now provide your ssid and the password for the ssid this is very simple so inside the white setup they are calling the functions so now we will see what is inside the functions now as you know that whenever we are using white setup we need to mention that which pins are input pin and which pins are output pins so now inside the white loop you can see they have declared two variables one is sensor value 1 and another one is sensor value 2 so what i have done i am storing the analog value of the potentiometer inside the sensor value 1 variable here you can see analog rate now inside the sensor value 2 we are storing the random number from 0 to 100 now in order to print the values on the serial monitor i have used just serial dot print sensor value that is sensor value 1 and just mention the variable that you are using so sensor value 1 is storing the values coming from the potentiometer here you can see the rest of the part is for sensor 2 now this is the code for sending the data to qubitro portal now here you can see we are sending the sensor value 1 as a sensor 1 and we are sending the sensor value 2 as a sensor 2 and here we are sending the value by the delay of 2 seconds as i mentioned you earlier that inside the void setup they are calling the functions so in order to use the serial monitor we need to initialize the serial monitor so we are initializing the serial monitor inside this function so that's why we have mentioned inside it inside the void setup so inside this function we are setting up the wi-fi in station mode here you can see so inside this function we are connecting esp32 board using the mq2t client here you can see all the codes are related to the MQTT client. So now how I have modified this code in order to get the temperature and humidity data. So just go to the file, go to the examples and if you have installed DST11 sensor library then you can see the examples from the DST11. So here you can see the DST sensor library and click on DST tester. So this is the DST tester example here you can see so here we are storing the values of temperature humidity and the temperature in fahrenheit as well so here you can see we have declared variable that is that is h t and the f so i need to combine these two code one is from qubitro and this one in order to get the data on the qubitro platform so let's see how i have done that so here you can see i have included the library that is dst sensor library and also here I have defined that DST11 sensor is connected to the pin number 13 of the ESP32 board. And also you need to select the which type of sensor that you are using. Now if you wanted to connect any analog sensor to the pin number 34 of the ESP32, you can do that as well. Here I have not used but I have mentioned it. Like I have connected potentiometer to the pin number 34. You can connect it as well. Now here as I mentioned you that from where you are getting the device ID and device token. So you can get it from the Qubitro portal itself. Now. Just change the SSID and password. Now rest of the part, here also you need to copy this from the DST tester code. Just copy this thing. So here you can see I have copied this thing from here and paste it here. This is very simple. Now rest of the part inside the white setup is completely same. You no need to modify anything here. Now inside the white loop, we need to do few changes. Here inside the white loop, what I've done. I've just copied the code from DST tester. Like I've copied this entire thing. So here you can see inside the wide loop I have commented this code which is inside the basic code of the Qubitro portal. So in order to send the temperature and the humidity data you need to do modification inside the send telemetry code here you can see. So that's why I am getting the value of humidity inside the sensor 1 here you can see I am sending the H and I am sending the humidity data into the sensor 1. Now this is the variable H which is storing the value of humidity just go to the wide loop section here you can see we are storing the humidity data inside the variable h and that's why i'm sending this value inside the sensor one 
Now same thing for sensor 2. I have not modified the name sensor 1 and sensor 2. I have kept it as it is. So this is very simple. You just need to do few modifications inside the wide loop section. Now rest of the part is completely same. So I will mention each and every code inside the description box. So even if you don't understood anything, just let me know inside the comment section. So I have already uploaded the same code and now I have connected my ESP32 board to the COM port 4 and let's see we are getting the values or not. So here you can see I am getting the values of humidity and the temperature on the serial monitor itself as well. So on the screen you can see this is my setup. I have just used DHT11 sensor and the ESP32 board. So now we will see on the portal that we are getting the values or not. So as you can see on the portal we are getting the values like humidity is 12 and the temperature is 34 degrees Celsius. So now what I'll do, I'll just blow air on the sensor and let's see the, now let's see the changes on the humidity. Now in order to see the changes, you need to click on this reload icon, just click on this. Now you can see the humidity changed. So we are successfully able to monitor the humidity and temperature data on the Qubitro IoT platform. So if you found this video helpful for you, then do subscribe the channel and like the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.